Hello everybody, today we are kicking off some Celestial Storm decks with a series that I would like to call Using Every Card. So basically, I'm going to try and make a series of videos where we do our best to give each card in the set a fighting chance at being good. And we're just going to start from the top with uh, the very first rare Pokemon that comes out in the set. And that Pokemon is Victory Bell! And it wasn't until making this video that I actually realized how confusing Victory Bell's name is, since Bellsprout is spelled with two L's and so is Weeping Bell, but Victory Bell is spelled with one L. I don't know how many times I've misspelled Victory Bell's name. Probably not very many, because how often do you spell Victory Bell? Anyway, this card is not great. Uh, it has... An interesting ability, the Fragrance Trap, once per turn you can flip a coin and it you can switch your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. So it's basically a uh, Pokemon catcher each turn. And I mean, it's not a bad ability, but this is a stage 2 Pokemon and people don't make room in their deck for the item card Pokemon catcher, so the thought of putting room in your deck for, you know, a stage 2 line, would, it, it seems a little bit not great. But, you know, we are gonna do our best, and we're gonna try it out. So, I'm gonna start brainstorming some ideas, and the first one that actually just came to mind, here, I'm gonna put these in there, just so I... All right, cool. I'm, pro I'm probably not gonna use three, but you know what, let's put three in there. The video is supposed to be about them. There's gonna be three. All right, so there is a, is it a Toxapex or a Marini? But I basically know that one of them, if you switch it out, you know what, let's try, I bet it's a Toxapex. Oh, I gotta take off my filter. Take that off. Uh, this one. Uh, whenever your opponent's active Pokemon retreats, their new active Pokemon is poisoned. So that will not work with Victory Bell, I don't believe, because it would rely on your opponent to retreat, but switching is different than retreating. All right, so that strategy is off the table. So, instead, because I, this could, we could just use Victory Bell as a support Pokemon, since its attack Corrosive Acid is for 80 for 3 energy, basically 3 grass energy, and you flip a coin, if heads your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. Burned is one of the worst status conditions in the whole game. One, because you can flip out of it, and two, it, it typically only allows you to do 20 extra damage because your opponent's able to retreat out of it. And yeah, it's, it's just not great. With decks like these, it's always a question as to whether you want to play GXs or not. And since we're going to use this as a support Pokemon, I think, for just the, the counter... Uh, not the counter. The Pokemon catchy, Catcher ability, I think I'm going to try and pair this Pokemon with... Uh, stay with me now. I think what we're, we're going to try and do... I think we're going to try and pair this up with Leafeon GX. And I think that the goal with Leafeon GX with the Victory Bell is going to be to stall. And that's literally all it's going to be. And it's like, oh, if you got a good Pokemon out in the active, well, we're just going to switch that out. Hopefully, maybe on a coin. But, hmm. Anywho. So normally with Stage 2s, you want to play Rare Candies. However, with Leafeon's GX attack, we can actually play the middle stage. So why don't we just go ahead and do that? I'll put three in there. Is this a... I mean, does it matter? I don't think it matters which Tang... Weeping Bell. I almost said Tang Growth. It's a Weeping Bell. What Weeping Bell is better? I don't think it matters. This one discards an energy on a coin. Well, yeah, I don't think I just... I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna... just gonna keep going. Are these the same? No. <sighs> wow. <laughs> They're both real bad. But we're gonna do this one because it does 30 for 2 energy and you never know. Maybe we're just in... Um, facing down a little rock rough, and we just, you know, managed to get two energy on there and knock it out. I don't know. You know, these are, uh, these are the scenario. These are the very unrealistic scenarios you have to think of when trying to pick which basic Pokemon to use. Anyway, so we got this going, 
And let's go ahead. Do we want any more Pokemon? This is very, very few Pokemon. I guess we play Lele. I mean... Yeah. I mean... Hmm, hmm. There's only four basics seems bad. I don't know what else we would put in there, though. I don't think... I know that- I believe there's something that gets rid of grass weakness, but honestly, this isn't a super serious deck. We're just trying to make Victory Bell work. So you know what? Let's put in some Lele's. Okay. So... I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put in four. Um... Which seems like a lot, granted. But... I kinda want first turn bridges so we can... We can... what is this called? What is this called? We can Grand Bloom. Yeah. Alright, so let's go over to Trainers. Let's get some Brigettis. Way to go me to have a Brigettis in three different arts. Or, I guess, Hollows. Alright, cool. We'll just do three. That seems fine. Alright, so normally decks play Guzma. But, I think we're gonna rely on Victory Bell. To switch stuff out. So, we're probably going to play only one Guzma. We'll just go through the basics here. But yeah, I think one Guzma. I think, how heavy is Victory Bell? We might need to put in, well, it's two. We still probably want some Float Stones. So let's do that. Just so, uh, you know. Victory Bell doesn't get stuck in the active. You know what? Why not four? Because realistically... What is this? See, this also has to. And Breath of the Leaves actually can stack. Theoretically. Well, twice. If you switch... Well, no, actually it can be multiple times. Anyway, uh, you can Breath of the Leaves multiple times. That's what I'm trying to say. That was a long-winded way of saying you can use Breath of the Leaves multiple times if you use a different leaf you on. Anywho... Alright, and I think we, we got... We want to go standard with supporters. I guess... I could have put in a draw support Pokemon, but I don't, hmm. I don't know if it's worth it to put in a draw support Pokemon. Because really the only thing I would put in is probably Octillery. Hmm. You know what, let's just go with this for now and see. I probably won't, I'm trying not to put too much effort into this. Because I don't think it deserves it. Anyway, anyway let's go in. Alright, let's just put in... I just put in uh, two ends in this artwork, because why not? Let's do some Cynthia. I'll do three Cynthia and we'll do three Sycamore. Why not? That seems like a good rounded number. I can't spell. Okay, so we got the supporters down. I think I'm gonna add in a Gardenia, because that's not a card you see all that often. And we're gonna be healing, healing stuff up. It's gonna be great. All right, so we've come this far. So what is the attack cost? All right, so for a Grass and a DCE, Leafeon does 110. All right, good to know. Just with that knowledge alone, I feel like we should put in a choice band. Not a whole lot, because you're two-shotting anyway, but like a choice band seems good. Maybe two. We'll put in two choice bands. I guess I didn't know I guess I didn't think about this, but Leafeon can just get knocked out. So what are we gonna do about that? It's <laughs> a good question. Uh, I guess the only way to deal with that is to put in bodybuilding dumbbells, isn't it? Alright, well maybe we'll decrease the float stone count. And you know what? Yeah, let's just, let's just throw in some bodybuilding dumbbells. Why not? Alright, so. Let's put you in here. Uh, alright, so DCE. I cannot type in DCE. You gotta type in double colorless. Has anyone else done that? Just me? Okay. Alright. And how many grass energy? We do want grass energy on the first turn of the game. So we can hopefully grand bloom. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, but you know what? Maybe I should up that flowstone count if we want to. See, these are the problems. These are the problems. All right. Anyway, grass. Let's do a healthy. Let's do a nice, healthy amount of grass energy. Let's do eight. Too many, possibly. But you know what? I'm not making this very serious. So uh, this is what we're going with. These are these are the. I guess I could haul it too, theoretically. Um, let's see. Um, all right, we got five more slots. I mean, we don't really have any stalling cards yet, other than Gardenia. I mean, es not Espeon. Um, Leafeon still is kind of built in, though. It heals itself. So we don't necessarily need healing cards besides the Gardenia. So what other tricks can we play? I guess we can play some hammers. I mean, that's always an option. Sure, why don't we play two enhanced hammers? Uh, do we even want crushing hammers? I guess we do. I mean, realistically, I guess, like, flare grunt is better, but, you know, I don't know if I want to put in another supporter slot for that. So, yeah. Is there like an obvious one that I'm missing? Is there like just an obvious card that it's like, oh my gosh, how did I forget to put in this card? I don't think so. Let's see. Let me just, oh, field blower. Yeah, I probably want that, don't I? All right, one field blower. Um, sure. Is fine. Probably. Okay. I guess the other thing I would possibly consider is um putting in a pal pad or something to get back gardenias. Oh, do I have Ultra Ball? Or Evo Soda? Ew. I don't know if I need it though, is the thing. That's kind of the weird scenario. But you know, it's probably a good idea to put it in. So let's actually bump up Field Lord to two. Let's get Evo Soda. Right, cause they're, oh no, Ultra Ball, duh! Because of the Lele, yeah, Ultra Ball, duh. I was, I'm, I'm like already thinking about, oh, we've Grand Bloomed and now all of our Pokemon are just out, but how are you gonna get that out? You gotta, you gotta Ultra Ball. Okay, what am I taking out to actually be a normal person and have four Ultra Balls? We're gonna say goodbye to Enhanced Hammer. Alright, we're just gonna Ultra Ball. Yeah. That is kind of a lot of tools, isn't it? I'm gonna get rid of that one. We're gonna put in another Ultra Ball. Okay, so... We probably have too many grass energy too, to be totally honest, but you know what, this is what I'm going with. I do, like, it feels real bad when you got an Eevee down and you have no grass energy and you gotta like put a DCE on or Like, that just feels real bad. So, I'm gonna go with the, like, the big eight number. All right, so, this looks good. No, it doesn't. I mean, we're playing with, we're playing with Victory Ball. It doesn't look great, but this is what we're going with. So, let's see, let's see what we can do. Like, best case scenario, we only, have to ever drop one Tapu Lele. Like, that's kind of the hope and the dream, is to only have to drop one. Because I think if you drop two, like, they're probably gonna find a way to take their six prizes. But anyway, let's call, what should we call this, everybody? What's the name of this deck? Well, first let's do an abbreviation using every, no, gosh, using every card. And then, we're gonna call this something silly, like, uh... This probably won't fit, but stop and smell... Nope. The... I was gonna say stop and smell the leaves, but it looks like I have, uh, run out of space, unfortunately. Okay, I, mean, I got it, I got it, you guys. Alright, well, we can't put in the S, so it has to be just stop and smell the leaves. 
Ah, that's kind of funny. Yeah, all right, this is good. I'll, I'll accept this. <laughs> leaves doesn't get to be plural. It's just leave. Not spelled correctly. No, that would be ridiculous. All right, let's just do this, because why not? Yeah, cool. All right, well, let's give this probably terrible deck um, a go. We're, we're good. Stop and smell the leaf. Great. All right, who's ready to get destroyed? I know I am. Oh, we already have a match. Why am I not excited? <laughs> All right, so let's go Tails. All right, we're off to a great start. We lost the coin flip. Couldn't even do that right. We could not even get the coin flip correct. Oh good, Mulligan. All right. At least we have the element of surprise on our side because who on earth is gonna be like, oh. Yes, clearly the meta deck of legend, the Leafeon Victory Bell deck. The other bad thing is that because Celestial Storm just dropped, everybody is playing Rayquaza and Rayquaza's like good. So that's a problem. Also, our start is uh, garbage. Although, you know what, now that I think about it, maybe it's better that we go second. Possibly. You know, um, I don't know if anything is gonna save us from these raid decks, though. I'm not gonna lie. I'm still gonna try and make this deck work, but, I mean, part of Leafeon is yet you have to stall, and Rayquaza can real easily get to, like, 270 damage. So, I don't know how much stalling is gonna happen. Or healing, to be frank. I mean, because you can't heal if you just get knocked out. I mean, I guess our best case scenario... You know what? In this, since everyone's playing Raze, I should just play, a, like, an Espeon deck. Not an Espeon. Sylveon deck that has freaking Team Rocket's handiwork. Or maybe that's, like, the one tech card for Rayquaza. Everyone's been talking about the Sylveon EX. No, I'll just play one Team Rocket's handiwork. And then mill them. <laughs> once they get down to, you know, two cards in deck. See, this is why Ray is disgusting. <laughs> My god. Alright, well, um, fun stuff. I'm gonna put that there, because why not? We're gonna do this. Yes, let's energy Evo. Like, I guess our best case scenario is we can use Fragrance Trap multiple times and just get something stuck. Like, I don't know what that would be. But I guess that would be the hope. This is a really bad hand. Like, this is, like, real bad. But, uh, I'm gonna get another... Should I get another Bellsprout or another Leafeon? Wow, that feels real bad. This feels real bad, you guys. I really, you know, I really wanted that turn... I... There's four Lele's in here. Really wanted that, uh... You know... Um, oh, am I dumb? I think I am. Oh, no. Okay. I've, have you, I clearly have never used full bloom, grand bloom before. I don't even know what it's called. Didn't know that I did it separately like that. Anyway, can you tell I was really banking on that for, like, first turn, uh, Bridget play? And I didn't get it. Alright, well, it's time to get destroyed by some requests. Fun. Yeah, I mean, I really don't think there's any way to win this match. Like, at all. <laughs> I don't want to seem defeated already, but it's not good. Like I said, like, this is... Ray has the one deck that'll just get up to 270 damage, like, no problem. And I... We don't have anything to counter that. Like, nada. Nothing. Sycamore! Get me a victory bell, so I can, I don't know, go into a different Rayquaza, I guess. Uh, let's see. The other problem is that Leafeon is, a like, a two-attachment attacker, which is bad. Like, really bad. We can use Breath of the Leaves, though. Cool stuff. The one that has damage on it, obviously. Which one would you like to heal? Uh, the only one that has damage, please? Alright, so what do we got going on? There's two energy in the discard. And, see, Latios only has- Or Latias only has one freaking retreat cost. 
which sucks. And I can't bring anything up because then I just die. So this feels like bad. This feels bad. I mean, I guess the best thing I can hope for is having them waste an energy, but see, this just feels so bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I kind of- I don't think there's any way to win against a Rayquaza deck. I mean, they just do so much damage, like, insanely quickly. Man, I should've left those hammers in. Clearly! So, I think we're gonna end. Oof. I guess we can get rid of that. Maybe it would have been smarter to start powering up a Lele, because that's where we're at. But we're going to try and Fragrance Trap, and it doesn't even work. So, uh, we're just, like, done, basically. Like, this is it. <laughs> in fact, I might actually just concede this game, because there's literally no way we can actually get back in this game. Because their damage is just so consistent. Alright, we're going to concede and then maybe get another game in where uh, it's not Ray. I think I think stall decks kind of just auto lose to Ray. Honest. Like, because it can just get its damage output up so quickly and it's like consistently will stay at that amount. Whereas stall decks like Waylord and stuff like bank on the fact that you have a damage output cap and you can't get past that. Ray can just infinitely, well, not infinitely, obviously, but obviously they play enough energy to the point where they can, they, you know, they play enough energy where it's almost like just an infinite amount of damage. So stall decks, um, I don't even know if they're gonna be a thing with Ray. Ray in the format. Like a Waylord even just came out that seems good because it's a non-GX Pokemon that has 220, you know. Wow. Oh, that. That really sucks, actually. That really, really sucks. That means I can't first turn Lele for Bridget. Okay. So do I just lose then? All right. You know what? We're going to go do another game and maybe we don't just auto lose. Okay. Let's just uh, let's try this one more time. This is fine. This is fine. Okay. One more time. One more time we're going to try. What are the odds that the one time I choose to go second, I'm up against Glaceon, and I just auto-lose because I can't Lele? That's crazy. That's garbage. <laughs> I don't accept that. <laughs> That's the game saying it hates me. <laughs> oh my god! You guys, it's a Bellsprout! <laughs> what is Bellsprout? <laughs> Are we mirror matching right now with the effing victory bells? That's disgusting and stupid. <coughs> okay. Well, you know what? This mirror match is probably going to be our last match, but... Oh, they're playing it with the Sidueye. Oh, okay. I see. I see. We're... See, we are playing ours with the good old Leafeon. We're going to see who does better. I feel like I do, just off of principle that I heal and they poke. You know, I feel like, based on that and that alone, we should be okay. We're gonna do this, and one of you. Cool. This is what's supposed to happen, by the way. Didn't know if uh, we knew that. But let's grand bloom! Do I seriously only have one? Oh, well. You know, I didn't plan for that. I didn't plan for the, you prized, uh, two weeping bells. Did not plan for that. So, um, hopefully we flip a lot of heads, people. Hopefully we flip a lot of heads. Although, to be honest, the, like, it doesn't matter, really, because Decidueye doesn't mind being anywhere on the field. So, there's that. Our whole strategy of making them switch out seems a little bit, uh, pointless. When you consider that Decidueye can just be on the bench and snipe you. So, uh... All right, cool. Yeah, no, this is fine. I think I am actually just gonna, like... See, it could get annoying if they start switching me out. Low-key. So should I just, like, knock this out, or should I start taking out Rowlets? That's not a phrase I have to say often. 
You know what? This is a victory bell video. We are gonna bank fragrance trap. Oh yeah, give me this relic. Give it to me. This is mine now. Shoulder beam. And then watch them just, you know, whip out a counter counter energy and hit me with a uh, corrosive acid. <clears throat> That'd be funny. Not really. Oh, it's this victory bell. Reactive Pokemon is now burned, confused, and poisoned. That is unfortunate. I'm not gonna lie. Also, I put on the bodybuilding dumbbells. You know, I don't know why I thought it was this one. That kind of doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Why would anyone play this one? <laughs> but hey. Ah, oh, darn it. Is there just a decision? Oh. No, it's another victory bell. Yeah, this kind of sucks. I won't lie. Like, this is a little bit. This is a little bit of garbage. Alright. Can we flip out a burn, though? Nope. Nada. Um. Okay. So, we're gonna start putting stuff on you. I can still Breath of the Leaves myself, though. Basically negating their attack. And then I think we're gonna do the old flipperoo. Sweet. And we're gonna try and knock out another Rowlet. You know what? I should have knocked out uh Dark Tricks. That would have been a lot smarter. But we're gonna <laughs> knock out this Rowlet instead. Okay. I mean you gotta think that they don't have a decidueye in their hand because they didn't rare candy onto the Rowlet. See, it was actually a pro play. It might not have like seemed like it at the time, but turns out pro play, you know, maybe their hand is just full of rare candies. I don't know. I'm making up excuses as I go. So, oh, timer ball. Yeah, probably should have gone for a decision. Uh, sure, sure, disregard. Uh, I just really wanted to knock out another Rowlet. You know, maybe you feel real powerful knocking out a 60 HP Pokemon. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see. It's another Rowlet. It, they, see, they know. They know that I like knocking out these Rowlets. I actually can't knock out these Victory Bells, so give me more Rowlets, please. What else would they be getting? All right, where's this feather arrow going? It's on this guy. All right, cool. I'm actually totally okay with that. I really do need like, um, uh, I do have a field blower as well. I keep on flipping out of burn, which is good. I could ultra ball for a Lele, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna breath of the leaves myself this Leafy on GX in the active. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and Ultra Ball. <clears throat> I, the funny thing, I don't think I need Gardenia because I think I just heal myself faster than they put damage on. Let's go get my uh, one Guzma. Oh, one Guzma. All right, now here's the fun question. Who do we put it on? I think we put it on Victory Bell, to be honest. Do we? No, let's take out one of these guys. <laughs> I mean, we gotta take easy prizes, right? This is the, this is what we do. We take out easy prizes, clearly. Oh, you know what would have been smarter is putting this one, and that's what even what I did in my head was I put up this one, also use Breath of the Leaves. And everything was good, but I did kind of want to put the float stone on this instead. So, I mean, I guess this is fine. I also don't have a hand, I have just realized. My hand is kind of garbage. Which is fine, I guess, because we're taking prizes. Look, another weeping bell. We can flip twice if we get another victory bell. Which is obviously super important in this Decidueye matchup, clearly. All right, we got a DC, which is pretty darn useless. Cool stuff. They are really banking on these status conditions. And this is why you probably shouldn't bank on status conditions. 
Well, then again, I am healing myself each turn. And what? That's the third time I've rolled out of, or flipped out of, uh, burn. Which is a little unfortunate for them, to be totally honest. So I'm gonna actually retreat myself at this point. Let's heal me. Alright, the only question is, can I... F oh, you know what? Let's evolve you. Bam! Now you're a weeping bell. Alright, now let's try and... Can I hit heads again? Oh my god, I can! Let's take out this weeping bell. And I'm gonna manually retreat into this one. Get rid of the DCE, because I don't need it. And we're gonna heal this one. Great! So that many turns in, and I have 20 damage on my side of the field. We're looking pretty good. All right, well. Apparently, uh, Leafy on uh, Victory Bell does good against Decidueye Victory Bell. Who would have thought? Crazy. <laughs> Meme decks just everywhere. Meme decks as far as the eye can see. Mm. So. Now. Are they really gonna put out more baby Pokemon for me to just KO? Alright, well we won! Alright, I think that's the end of this video. Uh, Victory Bell, I actually flipped three heads on the Victory Bell, which was pretty sweet. Ironically, it was against a deck that you almost kind of didn't have to, like, get anything in the end. Like, it didn't hurt them very much because normally you just feather arrow on the bench, but... I mean, you know what? One victory. One victory in the bag for Victory Bell from Celestial Storm, and I think that's the best I can hope for, you know, with these use every card uh, videos, is, you know what, one win. You got one win, Victory Bell, and no one can take that away from you. All right, thank you all so much for watching, and uh, hopefully you will stay tuned for the next use every card video. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye!